Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, this is General Anthony C.H. Mulchit. And tonight I'm going to bring you one of my uh, favorite things to do, again, a tactical map. What I've been seeing a lot of um, is that the German team have a lot of uh, problems tackling Pavlos house. So I'm going to do uh, an explanatory video on this, my tactical disposition on this, how I would handle Pavlos house. And um, yeah, I yeah, know I've done a video on that before a long time ago, but things have changed, uh, tactics have changed, and uh, and there's some uh, new things in this um, to kind of help people out. First of all, uh, you see the marks A, B house, C house, D house, E and F. So pretty much. And uh, to get the kind of the basics out of the way, uh, the victory condition of this map is pretty simple. That is C house. Uh, you control C building or C cap zone, then you fucking win. So it's pretty easy. And first of all, you see the German spawn locations I marked with the blue stars down at the bottom and the G Russians, of course, up in the top with the red stars by the sniper tower and up at top. And the uh, first thing I want to discuss is uh, uh, tell you about is the uh, tank position shown by the triangle with tank position number three is the first primary German tank position to kind of stop the flow of Russians, kind of perhaps get the first uh, kill on the um, and the uh, Russian tank. Then we got the second and the first tank position up there, where you kind of see uh, to kind of cut off uh, Russian access to Charlie uh, to C building and kind of keep the Russian tank bottled up. You don't want the Russian tank out here in uh, in at Charlie location. A lot of players would play. Uh, some of uh, uh, Russian players take the tank down into on the flank of a uh, Delta building, something like that. I find that utterly useless. So if the German tank can control that Charlie field, that is optimal conditioning for the uh, for the Russian team, uh, for the German team, of course. Yeah. Okay. Let's discuss first uh, possible tactic you could do is you could hold A and B building. That is probably the simplest tactic for the uh, if the team is very 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 in the, uh, inexperienced. The German team could do a sneaky one, just simply hold A and B building that hope that the Russian team is stupid enough to attack them. Uh, and actually the Germans could hope that the Russians would simply bleed out the tickets and they could take Charlie cap zone at the end. That's a viable tactic. Uh, will it work? Perhaps. Uh, but against the experienced uh, Russian team? Ah, probably not. Then there is the second option, that the Germans take A and B building, snipers and machine gunners up there, and they take Delta building marked by the uh, third combat zone or the third uh, square. Uh, number three, take Delta building and actually keep that boxed up and hope again that the Russians will attack them. But if the Russians are smart and simply just uh, stay in Charlie building uh, and, and put a lot of fire and contest Delta building, that probably will not work for the uh, that probably will not work for the uh, for the Germans, and you will probably get ble get your tickets bleed bled out. So now we'll go to what I think is the viable tactic. This is a, a three-stage tactic. What you need to do: stage one, in caps on number one, A and B, you need your snipers, your expert riflemen, you know, people that really can 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 aim and, and really can get the, a good shot in. You need them in A and B building to suppress E and F, and uh, all generally just suppress all Russian movement and protect the tank from sneaky engineers and anti-tank guys, stuff like that, basics. Uh, then you take squad, and this is the second phase of the plan, you take squad 3, 4, 5, everybody from 3, 4, 5, whatever there is, and you take delta building. Remember, use the trenches, move in cover, and move in and contest delta building. This is very important, you need to contest delta building. So, the final, uh, the third part of the plan, you take squads, one and two, and this is very important. You take squad one and two, and then you move them in to uh, cap zone number or the the second zone that is Charlie cap zone. You move them rapidly from the beginning in, and you occupy Charlie house. You take squad leaders one and two, and only the squad leaders perhaps into the basement. And I marked top left hand corner, top left hand corner with an arrow and an orange mark, and that is the point where you actually need to have your squad leaders standing because. If the squad leaders are standing in this left hand top corner, they can actually spawn people inside the basement. If they do not stand up there, people will get spawned in that 
in outside in the Charlie field and probably gonna get shot. So this is a little well-known trick. If you actually spawn people in that uh, corner, left-hand top corner, people will spawn inside the basement and you can secure it. What you do, the third and final, uh, yeah, fourth and final part of the plan, you take all the members of squad one and two and you push ENF building. You have seen me do this in a couple of videos as machine gunner, pushing the trench, actually running outside the trench, pushing ENF building. And in that sense, um, putting a lot of pressure on the Russians because if they don't control ENF building, you know, it's extremely difficult for them to get a handle on Charlie building because you can shoot in all directions from ENF building down into the Russian spawn there uh, and the Russian spawn by the sniper building in the Russian spawn uh, up uh, up behind Delta. You see the square I put in, that is my favorite window, the orange square where I always pretty much go to um, to get a lot of uh, kills uh, on the Russians trying to run into Delta building. So. Uh, in this sense you can put all the momentum back on the German team and you can keep the Russians on the back foot. The Russian team has to react to you all the time and that will give you enormous momentum and you will probably be able to cap ENF or you will at least be able to bleed that ticket pretty rapidly. Uh, the final phase, you know, you could, this is only perhaps you push your guys from Delta building into ENF and actually secure it and actually try and cap it before the time runs, before the time runs out and this will be pretty much an effective tactic I think. So I hope um, uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I really hope uh, you got something out of this and this is kind of my tactical disposition on Pavlos house. That second uh, zone Charlie building is so important and getting squad leaders inside that basement in that top left hand corner so people can spawn up there. That is pretty 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 important. So yeah uh, hope you enjoy this and I'll probably put up a video sometime after this about where I actually show it done in Pavlos house. So really guys, do you want to see any other maps done with tactical uh, overviews like this? Let me know what let me know what you would like to see, what you liked about this video, what you did not like um, and please uh, help me make the videos better. And really I enjoy making this uh, for you guys. So really hope you enjoyed it. So uh, bye bye.